In the fathomless depths of the Azure Sea, where sunlight danced upon the surface and faded into an ethereal twilight, there dwelled a primordial deity of immense power and ancient wisdom, Awatatsumi, the sea god. Awatatsumi's palace was a magnificent underwater realm, adorned with shimmering coral and iridescent seashells. Its walls were carved with intricate runes that whispered secrets of the ocean's past and future. Within its grand halls, the sea god held court, surrounded by a retinue of loyal sea creatures. As the ruler of the vast expanse of water, Awatatsumi commanded the tides, the currents, and the storms. With a mere gesture, he could summon colossal waves that crashed upon the shores, or calm the raging seas with a gentle touch. His knowledge of the ocean's depths was unparalleled, and he could navigate its treacherous currents with ease. But Awatatsumi was not merely a force of nature. He was also a benevolent protector of the marine realm. He watched over the creatures that inhabited his domain, ensuring their safety and prosperity. Fishermen and sailors alike revered him, offering prayers and sacrifices in his honor. One fateful day, as Awatatsumi surveyed his kingdom, he noticed a disturbance on the surface. A group of humans were struggling against the relentless waves, their boat tossed about like a leaf in the wind. Without hesitation, the sea god extended his divine power, calming the storm and guiding the vessel to safety. Among the survivors was a young woman named Amaterasu, the daughter of the sun goddess. She had been on a perilous journey to seek the wisdom of the sea god. Impressed by her courage and determination, Awatatsumi invited her into his palace. For many days, Amaterasu remained with Awatatsumi, learning the secrets of the ocean and the wisdom of the ancient deity. She marveled at his vast knowledge and his unwavering compassion for all living creatures. As the time for her departure approached, Amaterasu expressed her gratitude to Awatatsumi. Your wisdom and kindness have changed my life forever, she said. I will carry your teachings with me always. Awatatsumi smiled gently. May the blessings of the sea be upon you, Amaterasu, he replied. And may you always remember the lessons you have learned here. With a heavy heart, Amaterasu bid farewell to the sea god and returned to the surface world. She carried with her the wisdom and compassion she had gained from her time in Awatatsumi's realm, and she used it to guide her people and protect the ocean that had once threatened her life. And so, the legend of Awatatsumi, the sea god, was passed down through generations. He became a symbol of the ocean's power and mystery, and a reminder of the importance of respecting and protecting the natural world. Centuries later, as the human world grew and changed, the memory of Awatatsumi faded into obscurity. But in the depths of the sea, his palace remained, a testament to the ancient deity who had once ruled the waves. And as the tides ebbed and flowed, the whispers of Awatatsumi's wisdom could still be heard, carried by the currents and the songs of the sea creatures. For even though his name may have been forgotten, his legacy lived on, forever entwined with the boundless expanse of the ocean.